Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting in acrylic, painting life, making my characters come alive on the canvas. I'm also the creator of the online course, Succeeding as a Fine Artist, Guidance, Tips and Strategies. It's ideal for the emerging artists, helps you to create a business selling your art. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we interview exciting artists from around the globe. Now with me today, all the way from Kaduna State in Nigeria, is Kenneth CJ. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, ma'am. Good to have you here. Well, thank you so much. And it's great to have you here too. Kenneth, please uh, tell me something about your journey as an artist. Okay. Um, good day, everyone. Um, like, without further ado, you know, uh, my name is Kenneth CJ and I'm an artist and I specialize on pencil drawing specifically. So uh, my journey being an artist all started from when I was little, like when I was six years, um, six years old. Yes. Um, then I like to scribble on papers and the rest. My mom always tells me that um, I might tearing papers here and there. But though I didn't actually let that stop me, but along the line, along the line, I gave everything all up focus on my studies and I just forgot about art, you know, not yeah. until I graduated from high school, from high school. Then I think it was, um, it was a time when I was going to, I was going to church. We were having a church program. So it was an all night, which I actually felt reluctant to attend. Then my siblings, they were like, okay, let's go for this. And so I just picked myself all up and said, okay, Let's go. So I went to the church. The program was um, successful. So at the end of the, the, the service, they were like, if you actually good at photography, move this side. If you're good at art, move this side and the rest. So I just went to, to the section where art is. Yes. Just, I just did it anyhow, you know. But that was actually the beginning when oh. the, the, the few came back in, you know, because I left everything about art I don't even remember thinking of myself drawing or something but I think I found the talent back in the church so that's why I'm, I'm really grateful to God you know the journey so far it has been amazing yes. the connections and the rest so that was then after that they just I they gave few orientation mm -hmm. about um, you picking up your talents you succeeding through your talent which the team it hits me so hard, you know, I can't even explain. So when I went home that day, I picked up my phone, started checking on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, seeing people's drawings, started saving it. And then the next day, I, I didn't even sleep when I came back from the all night, you know. I picked up my phone and started tracing. And that was it. I didn't, it was just like five months. You know, it, this is something that actually takes people a year five um yes. a year two years or so to actually master their skills but mm. mine actually just took five months five months you know yes, that was because it. you have the and natural it. talent that's why honestly, <laughs> that, that was it you know so god given talent to cc <laughs> honestly honestly when people ask me like where did you learn this stuff i'd be like man this is god all true because me i don't actually know how it all happened but it was in the church at the place of, of, of prayers 
that I found this talent. And today, the, the, the work, it foots my bill. It pays a lot of things, my education. I'm actually an architect at the moment. Oh, yeah, an architect. Oh, yes. okay. Yes, so because I actually wanted to go into fine arts, but I was like, what will these lectures actually teach me? Because I know everything, basically everything in art. So I felt I should go for another um another, another discipline way around. and you can yes. still use your drawing skills anyway so <laughs> in, in the so, architecture mm -hmm. honestly so that is it um this is four years now i've been drawing four years okay four years excellent now. excellent so now i'm excited to see samples of your work please show us a few samples and tell Great. us the story behind each uh, work Okay, um, here with me um, is a work I actually completed um 2021, which is last year. Yes. Last year um, is actually titled Defense and Emotion. Defense and Emotion. You know, when we say defense and emotion, uh, it talks about we as a person being in love with someone, either our family member, a soulmate, or whatever. And, you know, when we talk about the um, issue of relationship, you know, in relationship, um, they tend to be hot, they tend to be pain, and all these all these things that's happening these days. So I try to depict it in, in a drawing here. That's why I try to defend an emotion. You know, you have to actually shield your heart, shield your mind for some certain things not to hurt you. That's why you can see these marks here. A mask, yes. You can see a rose. It's holding a rose. The rose signifies love. It signifies affection. Yes. You know, yes, which we, we all um, human beings, we have that. But at the same time, we have to guide our inner, our inner mind here in our heart. We yes. have to protect ourselves from feeling hurt. You know, when we actually run with this mindset, we can avoid all this unnecessary heartbreak, who truly loves me and the rest. You know, all these things can be avoided if we truly guide ourselves properly by and understanding this is, what is um, pencil and color pencil completely. Yes, oh, this is, is actually I use a um, general charcoal pencil for this charcoal pencil. Charcoal. Okay. Yes. Due to the light, you can't see the red. Let me try to adjust a bit more. This is wow. typically red, but the light is reflecting. Oh, it has it looking pink. Yes, yes. 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 Oh, that is just amazing. So realistic. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, let us see another um, okay. sample of so, your work. Thank you. All right. Um, here with me is another drawing I completed, still 2021. Yes. Last year. And okay. this is titled, this work is titled What We See. What We See. Yes. You know, um, basically, it's talking about we human, our perspective, our thoughts, the way we think, the way we see things in the society, the way we see things in the world around us. That's why I tried to depict it here using this flower and the yes. man staying here. Now, this flower. You know, whenever we see a flower, we don't actually have this bad mindset pertaining roses, flowers, and the rest. We all say, yes. yes, this flower looks beautiful. So now that is that is what I'm trying to speak here. Like this person actually, he has a positive mindset. Okay. Know? That's why I titled what we see. We have to actually stay positive at all times. Yes. We, um, how will I put it? Let me say, adjust our mind to see things the way they are, not to see things negative because, you know, a negative mind can actually affect the good things that might be coming our way. So that's why I said our heart, guiding our heart and seeing things the right way is um, truly essential, uh, which is what we all humans are supposed to do. That's why I titled yes. what we see. What we see ourselves. and have with a positive uh, mindset. Yes. The, the right. flowers represent this. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see okay. another sample of your work. Okay. All right. So, um, Ooh, look at this. This is powerful. And it's, it's charcoal. 
pencils. Oh my God. No, this is um this work here is still completed 2021. That yeah. is the day I did it last year. So and um, it's titled Until We Survive. Until we survive. Yes. You know, um due to the things going on around the world. I'm looking at children suffering and not specifically about children, though we as humans as a whole yes. suffering around the world. So I thought about it and I'd had to, I had to put it down on my paper to, to depict these things that's going on around the world. Yes. Let me say, I'm using a child here because children are the, you say children are the, are the future of tomorrow. These are yes. our backbones a parent have. So that's why I'm using a child here. You know, there's no child that's supposed to go through suffering. There's no child that's supposed to go through pain and, and all this thing. But it's quite unfortunate we are having it today around the world, like the fight within Russia and Ukraine. Like you can, I saw photos of, of displaced children, children which um, bomb blasts actually affected their houses and, and the rest. So it's so unfortunate. So the reasons why I had to depict it here on this, in this my paper, which titled "Until We Survive," is a child, is a child crying, yes, based on lack of protection, lack of care, lack of attention, and and all that. You know, mm -hmm. we're supposed to give every child a reason to smile, and there's not, uh, we are not supposed to. A child at this young age is not supposed to actually go through all this pain at this mm -hmm. tender age because and how long did this painting right. take you to to uh, this drawing sorry how long did it take you okay this actually um took me two weeks to complete this one two weeks, two oh. weeks. yes two weeks to yes there's a one. lot of detail brilliant work brilliant work so like you can see. really amazing powerful statement Thank you so much um, for exposing us yeah. to your, your amazing work. Now, I'm watching one behind you there that also looks like um, okay. it's telling us a brilliant story. So please describe this drawing. Okay, so um, this, is my, this is my recent piece. I just yes. completed this yesterday. Yesterday, oh. Yesterday, honestly. Like this has actually took um, two months roughly to complete. Ooh. Two months to complete this drawing, and yes. this um this is thirty six by forty eight inches. Oh, it's know. a big one, yes. And wow. So, and it's titled um "Where Hope Is Found." That Where is hope is found, it. yes. You know, just like um it says, you know, when we are in trouble, we humans are in trouble. The only person we can run to is is God. Because God is above, is our creator, you know, and we we don't just run to him based on, you know, we are, we are in trouble. And, and so even at the good time, we are expected to, to run to him. So this, I'm using this woman here as a God figure to signify yes. and to show the world that, yes, we actually have someone to run to whenever we are down emotionally, whenever we are down spiritually or whatsoever. You know, that's, that, that's why, like, you can see the little girl here, it, it signifies we as humans. It signifies yes. the whole world, you know. It signifies, it signifies the whole world. And this woman here signifies God, you know. I'm not trying to be religious here, but I think this is what the work is talking about. Where hope is found. Where yes. do you find your peace? Where do you find your joy? Where do you find all mm -hmm. these things? It's and these one people, one, one, one. yeah, these people, are they um, people that you know and recognize or you use photographs? How did you um, I, establish okay, this? For, okay, for this one, actually, is um, from the photographer. I got this, um, the picture he took here, so which I actually talked to him about it, um, which I'm using right now. But yes. sometimes, sometimes I might snap my own reference photo myself yes. and use it but for this um this drawing i'm using someone else reference photo but i have oh. to just change some little things like the hands here the yes how did you establish um those colors it's like a sleeve like a tattoo sleeve um yes. how did yes. you decide on those colors 
you know, actually before I draw, I actually um, sketch and pen down some ideas. Like yes. I don't just, when I get reference from a photographer, I don't just want to use it directly. I like yes. to put in my own idea. Right. So that was when I came up with this thing, when I was editing and I'd be like, okay, let me put this and this in place and see how it's how okay. it turned out to be. And it was amazing. So yes, yes. That's why I used it. Honestly. Oh well, this is a beautiful drawing and quite powerful. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us today on Art Snack. And how can viewers see more of your work? Do you have um an online presence? Tell me. Yes. Um you can actually um, check out my page on Facebook yes. at CJ's Arts, which is um, spelled C-J-A-Y-S, then a splash within, then A-R-T, CJ's Arts on Facebook. Facebook, yes. On, yes, and the same thing on Instagram, and CJ's Art on Instagram, and CJ's Art on Twitter. On, on Twitter. Twitter. So, okay. Yes. Well, I will put that information right here on the screen. And I hope people go online and see your work and buy your work. Do you do um, any prints or just originals? Do you have prints? I, yes, I actually have um, a few prints here with me, but not for this one, actually. Okay, because it's new. Some, yes. Yes, it's new. So until the original sells out before actually publish a print. So right, right. I have a few prints here with me. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So everyone, please check out CJ's art on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and get in touch with Kenneth CJ. So that's all we have time for today. Viewers can see some of my work too at jennylynjames.pixels.com. And on Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. Remember to check out my online course, Succeeding as a Fine Artist, Guidance, Tips and Strategies. It's on Udemy, a self-paced course. You can see the description in the link below. And also remember to hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we interview an exciting artist from around the globe. Thank you again, Kenneth, for joining me today. Thank you very much, Mama. It's a pleasure. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.